Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to take a look at the market and what happened today with the release of the La Liga team of the season. It did come as expected. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't know how you feel about it, but this team does kind of feel like a, lit, a bit of a, a letdown in terms of the quality of the team, the ratings, and some of the players that are in it. Um, the Super League Tots is a little bit underwhelming as well since we just had Liga Nos this last week and there we had a couple good players in there. Um, but you know, this La Liga Tots side, you know, we have the Suarez, we have the Messi, we have the Griezmann, we have the Ben Yedder. But other than that, there aren't a lot of headliner names or really surprising cards out of the squad. I mean, yes, Griezmann, Dembele, Ben Yedder. You know, we, again, it's just like the Bundesliga where we have a top tier range of cards, you know, maybe five, six cards at the top that are really good that everybody wants. Last week with the Bundesliga, that was Royce, Lewandowski, Jovic, Havertz, Werner. And now this week, I mean, you have Messi, you have Suarez, you have Benzema, um, Griezmann, Dembele, and Ben Yedder, maybe Iago Aspas, you can throw him in there, and Jordi Alba as well. And some of these other cards are interesting, but it just, it just kind of lacks that hype, and I feel like it just could be so much better. But regardless of all that, there was a lot of movements on the market today that we need to kind of take a look at. And what I really talked to you guys about today or what I talked about on Wednesday and Thursday, kind of talking about how the La Liga cards would rise into this weekend, they absolutely did. Now, these are a lot of cards that I've had on my transfer list for the past couple of days, and I like to save them on my transfer list because I can see their price progression. You see this bail, I had him on my transfer list on Wednesday night, 270,000 coins for this bail card on Wednesday night. That was very, very cheap. He today, if you look at his price right now, all after Thursday rewards, he rose up to about 300,000 coins. So he rose up about 30,000 and he has stayed there at at one point earlier this morning before the team of the season actually dropped. I sold one of these Gareth Bale cards for 350,000 coins. I bought two at 270 and I missed that one down below that was on my transfer targets. Um, but I did sell two of them at 270, which is honestly crazy that there were so many people that were investing in these cards today alongside what i told you guys to do and what i did myself it just caused an artificial inflation of the market there were so many people investing in these special la liga cards that even after we're going to take a look at quincy promes in a second that yes the cards rose but a lot of people didn't make too many coins on them because they bought too high. Now, if you bought on Wednesday or early on Thursday, right as rewards came out, you did okay. Um, early morning Thursday, I got this Suarez for 474,000 coins, sold for 587. That was a very, very nice flip um, on that card. And I also have a, this Griezmann. I'm doing really well on. I got this. Um, I'm going to relist it now. I got it for 469. So he is not quite up 100,000 coins. But he is up a good bit, and a lot of these cards are up a decent bit. But what really hurt their rise this week is people recognizing this trend and really going and investing hard on these cards. But that does not mean all hope is lost for making coins this weekend. A lot of you guys probably are still making coins right now. I would get those cards out of your clubs. If you bought uh, the Promes, if you bought the Lucas Hernandez center back card, if you bought um, maybe... I'm trying to think of some other guys. Maybe a Carvajal Hall inform this Kondogbia card. Um, he's up, you know, 50, 60,000 coins, like 243. He was under 200K on Wednesday. This Promes card, 117. Look where he is now. He's like 150,000 coins. So take the money on the cards that you're up on um, because a lot of other people probably still have these investments and whether they're holding on to them or they're going to sell them, I think you're still going to see these cards nosedive in price at the end of the week. Kind of same thing that we looked at with Royce um, from last week. I think it's gonna happen again this week where the cards are gonna be sold off from the weekend league and then people are gonna to start to build La Liga teams this week. So we're gonna take a look at Promes here and I wanna talk about this card's price. Now, we're gonna look at the daily graph and if you look at the daily graph, you see his low 118 on Tuesday. This is a very popular, cheap, but um, you know, a meta popular card that a lot of people like to use in the weekend league. And look what ha happened to his price. You could say, whoa, he actually boomed today. A lot of people made money. But if we look at the hourly graphs, we're going to look at Thursday. So this is Thursday right before rewards. He's 120,000 coins 
what happens after rewards? He starts trickling up on Thursday as people are told to invest in these cards. He's up 10,000 coins. And then you go into the morning of Friday, more people are investing in these cards because they think they're going to go up. He hits 140,000 coins. The team comes out, he hits a peak of 159, and he stays around 140 to 150, which is where he's currently at right now. Now, this is Xbox. It might be a little different on PS4. Um, but it really shows that you saw this rise on Thursday from 120 to 130, and then from 130 to 140 on Friday morning. And it just it shows me that a lot of people were thinking the same thing as we were, investing in these cards. So that tells me that we just have to get in even earlier. So I know it's a week away. I know that the La Liga Tots just dropped, but I want to start honestly thinking about buying some Bundes or excuse me, some Serie A cards, as that is projected to be the next team of the season. Don't go crazy on that yet. Just start, make yourself a concept squad, and get familiar with some Serie A popular meta informs same thing that we did with this la liga but we just need to get on it earlier we just need to get on those cards a little bit earlier that way they have the chance to we have the chance to sell to people who might even be investing in these card in those cards later in the week but we are not done trading with la liga just yet i wanted to mention syria because it is coming but I want to mention La Liga again because these cards are not done moving in price. Back over here, well, you know what? We're going to look at a different card this time around. I haven't showed you guys the headliner, Timo Werner, what movement he made last week. 442k. And look what happened to him. Before Bundesliga Tots comes out, 327,000 coins. Boom. He goes to 380. He gets panic sold down a little bit. You know, he goes down 10, 15,000 coins and he continues to fly during the next week. I don't think you're going to see as much flying in price as these cards did last week, but back to our man Promes here. If we look at his card price, then you have to realize that a lot of people are invested in this card right now, and that's why you see his card price not really go up a bunch, because this is a combination here of, okay, hey, these cards should be going up in price. Some people are just selling their listings and taking whatever coins they have from them because people are impatient that trade on this game. They buy cards, they expect them to go up right away, so they list them, and they don't go up that much. you got to have patience with these cards, but some people don't. And that's why this weekend you're going to see this card probably dip back down. I wouldn't say back to 120 where he was in the midweek. I would say somewhere in the range of 135,000 coins on the Xbox. That's where I could see this card going back down to. So they go back down, but then they continue to rise through the rest of the week as people pack and try out some of these cards and, you know, if you have a Ben Yedder in your club, if you have, you know, two, three million coins, you get a Ben Yedder in the middle of the week, and you don't have a lot of coins to link around him, you're going to use that Promes card as an OP cheaper option. I still like that card as an investment. As a matter of fact, I still like this Hernandez center back card. I still like this Dembele headliner card. I still like a lot of these cards that I pointed out as good investments. I just want to see them panic sold. I want to see them sold off from the weekend league selling. And then we really get to see how much hype there is around this league. Um, even if things don't drop too much, don't be afraid to invest because you saw what happened last week with the Bundesliga, especially with the rare positions and you know positions that you need to fill. If you're running a hybrid with these cards in your squad, who are the cards people are going to try out this week? Benzema, I would say so. A little bit expensive, but you know there's a lot of Spanish links. So you know some of these guys that are on Barcelona on my transfer list here. A lot of these guys are on Barcelona like Dembele and that have good nations like the center back Lucas Hernandez. I see them as really good risers throughout this next week and basically all of the La Liga special cards as well. Like this Naki Williams card. If I see him at under 210, uh, you know, he's 220 right now. If I see him around 200K again, that is a certain buy for me because that card is very good in this game. A lot of people are going to be interested in this card again and you're going to see... see these La Liga cards continue to rise throughout the rest of this week. So watch the La Liga specials. Seriously, watch them today and tomorrow. So Saturday and Sunday, you're going to see people finish their weekend league games. The sell-offs for the weekend league are more concentrated around Sunday now since, um, you know, a lot of people are trying to stretch out their games, trying to get 30 games in at a time. And get the best rewards that they possibly can because the the uh, player picks are in there and the, the guaranteed tots packs. So the concentrated weekend league selling time is more on Sundays now than it used to be because people aren't just stopping at 14. They're trying to play all 30 to get the best rewards possible. 
Um, so watch Sunday and Monday for some of the lowest prices on some of these um, some of these La Liga special cards. Again, you can the best way to do this is go to the FIFA 19 players, click on this link right here on Footbin, and then go to leagues top five, go over to La Liga Santander, and just scroll through this list. Now you're going to have a lot of cards that are inflated right now when you look through this list. Just look at their price graphs and compare it to the Bundesliga cards from last week. So let's take a look at a random card. Um, let's go with this Ramos Fanta card. I talked about him in the videos. 305k. He has went up a lot. He was 330 at one point earlier today. Okay, so there's the Ramos. What's going to happen? All right, well, let's go back and take a quick look at uh, Sancho again. He was a riser from last week. Sancho's um, FFS card, 523. He just kept going up. That is crazy. So this is what happened. Bundesliga Tots comes out right here on Friday, May 24th. This card is cheap beforehand. This is when we bought this week. They go up and they come right back down. And we have another great opportunity to buy these cards as they go shooting up through the, the rest of next week. Now, I don't think the La Liga Tots is as hyped as the Bundesliga. Um, because the Bundesliga has had a lot of hype this year, especially with this card getting a it's it's English and it's links to Dortmund players, especially Royce and all of his player of the months. But there's plenty of La Liga special cards out here in the game where you can uh, you know get some good deals and get some good cards that are going to be rising throughout the rest of the week. Again, focus on meta, focus on popular, and focus on the I'm going to say under 500,000 coin range. I just set a wrong. Um, range right there, but in the 100,000 coin to 500,000 coin range, you know, maybe pick up one or two of those players that are above that, like some of Suarez's higher informs, but you know, guys like this other Ben Yedder inform, even a Casemiro CDM, there's not a lot of CDMs in this La Liga team, and those cards, if you see them panic sold this weekend, are going to be some of the best pickups, some of the pickups that aren't in this team, right backs, um, cheaper right wingers, so you know, you have a right winger in Messi, but that is a very, very expensive card. Um, other than that, you know, CDMs, I mentioned that. There's not really any real CDMs in this team. Parejo, but he's not fast enough. Center backs, there's a lot of those. Right backs will be a good one. Um, and yeah, so that would be what I would look for this week in your, when you're looking at linking, uh, buying some link investments to some of these cards, like this, this Carva Hall, you know, 125K, I bet he is up a decent amount. Um, watch that card get panic sold down this weekend. There aren't many right backs in this team. Even a center back uh, Theo Hernandez card, the foot birthday, watch these cards get sold off in the weekend league sell-off and look to buy some of them. If anything, buy one, stash it in your club for the rest of this week. One last thing I want to touch on, high rated golds from La Liga. I know there's people that are probably already over this that are deep unassigned in these La Liga golds. Um, because they know that the SBCs are going to be coming. Basically, what you can do, do the same thing during lightning rounds. Go out and bid on these cards. You can either set up a concept squad in your concept squad section and just buy those cards over and over and like snipe them, try to get them during lightning rounds for like 700, 800 coins. Or you can just go and mass bid on cards like this and uh, try to get as many of them as you can. But I do think it is good to stock the club I don't know about going on a sign. It's a pain to be sitting on a sign waiting for upgrade packs. But stock your club with those La Liga gold cards, whether that's an investment for you or whether it's just to load up on the first few upgrade packs that you'll be able to do when they drop those um, for a little bit cheaper. So I would definitely recommend doing that today during lightning rounds. Um, and then, of course, the SBCs that we got, uh, we did get the UCL Premium Upgrade SBC today, um, which I think I mentioned a while back. Stock your clubs with the man, uh, with the UCL rare cards. If you did that, that was a GG. A lot of those are up, the 83s and plus, because of the requirements for that. And then this Diego Godin card it does look pretty sick. I've used his inform like all year. He's basically maxed on defending, which is cool. Um, so I will probably try to craft this card just because um, I've used him a lot throughout the year, and I've, I've used a La Liga team for most of the year, so that's kind of a cool card. Uh, but I think it's a decent value center back. If you're running a La Liga team, that's a center back you're probably going to want to get in your club. So definitely watch those prices. And again, the team of the season, the new Tots cards, if you want to try some of these cards out, I'm, I'm telling you, please wait until later in the week. You know, you saw it with a lot of these uh, Bundesliga Tots cards. 
They went down from the weekend league, went up after Tuesday, and now they're kind of even back down again as the hype has transitioned away for some of these cards that were a bit overpriced. So just be careful with some of those Tots cards, but of course they're going to be fun to try out. The Griezmann, the Ben Yedder, um, you know, the Dembele as well. I'm interested in seeing what kind of stuff we can get this week. I would love to pack one of these cards uh, from Upgrade Packs. That would be the freaking dream. So we'll be keeping our eyes open for that and keeping watch for that. And of course, um, the Champions League final is on today. Huge game for my team, Tottenham Hotspur. So I'm excited to watch that game. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. Maybe we'll see an SBC or something uh, for that game afterwards as well. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.